Hey guys, welcome back. So in this episode, let's model the hair. Hey guys, before we get started with the tutorial, I wanted to tell you about a class that I worked on at the Academy of Animated Art. It's an introduction to 3D modeling class. It's from a beginner level, so if you need something more of a class setting instead of little, you know, tutorials, uh, this might be for you. Uh, check it out if you want to support my channel, you know, take the class. If you want to see my face, check out my interview with Jasmine from the Academy of Animated Art and uh, back to the tutorial. So we're going to make some uh, blocky geo hair and it's actually pretty easy to make. Uh, it looks that this would be kind of hard to do. And if you try to make all this detail, it would be, but you don't have to make uh, as much detail as you think you need to. So to get started, we just need to make a cube. I'm going to hold, I'm going to press W, hold B. And, we'll, and middle mouse drag, it will snap to the closest vertex, which is on the head. We can move it up here like this. Scale it out, and then in the subdivision width, just add three divisions like this. We can then take the points here on the end, the vertices of the edge on, the, on either end, and just scale them down. This creates a shape like this. Uh, we can then kind of squish it down a little bit, and press 5. Uh, now what I want to do is I want to like twist make put a twist into it so let's make it a little wider and to do that all we need to do is select the vertices of the end while still have three on if you press one it will just look like this and it'll be hard to tell what's going on so press three and then uh hold b and middle drag and this will so while holding b and middle dragging this will increase the soft select and you can see if i'm middle dragging here i can make it large like that and now we can just uh, select the rotation, the inner rotation circle, and just do that. And then we can select the bottom ones here and do the same. Uh, then I'm going to select, uh, press B to disable soft select. So when you hold B, you can turn on the soft select. Uh, it, you can control the radius, but if you just toggle B, it will turn. It will turn on and off the soft select. So with soft select off, we can just adjust this individually and kind of make the shape that we want. Something like this. Okay, let's look at it from the perspective view. And then we can make it a little wider. Now, there's not a lot of detail here, right? It's just a cube. So now what we can do is just subdivide it once, like this. Uh, clear history. Uh, so Shift Alt D will clear history, like that. And I'm gonna move the pivot, the so whole D and middle drag to move the pivot here. That way, when we're snapping, we can uh, snap right to the, the top of the hair. I'm, I want to twist this a little more, so I'm going to select the vertices on the end here and kind of drop them like this, because what I want to do is I want to be able to tuck this into the head. So we just need a little more geometry here, so just something like that. And then the tip here, we can curl it up a little, just take, just take the points here and move them out. Make a little curl. Like that. So this will be the, the bottom. And this will be the top where it connects to the head. Uh, placing it is also simple. Select the head and press this uh, magnet here. Uh, this will make the head live. And now when you can see that when I select any object and you can, there's a circle here, that means there's a live object and that even though I don't have any uh, snapping on it will snap to the object right so if I'm just middle dragging and you can see it's snapping to the object here now if we go to the front view we can just rotate we can press 4 so we can see through and we can place it like this and all we have to do is just scale the hair and place that we want it and so what you're trying to do here is you're trying to create like the um, the hairline which is you know start the, the hair part it's going to be somewhere over there. So you can duplicate, middle drag, and adjust like this. Now, the other thing I want to do is I want to make it match the head. So to make it match the head, what we can use here uh, is a lattice. Now make sure you turn live off. You only want to use live when you're placing them, but when you're working with the object, you want to turn live off because what will happen is, let's say I want to move these vertices, and with live on, they'll just snap to the head, right? So if I want to try and move them, it'll just do that. So you want to make sure you turn live off once you place it, and then we can adjust the points any way you want. Now, what I can do here 
is select the hair here and press lattice. So lattice is under the form lattice. I'm going to open the options for the lattice. I'm going to tell you the settings you should use. The default settings are 252 and then 222 for the local divisions. We want to set all of these to 2, like this. The top division is 222, and then the bottom 30, 30, and 30. The reason I set 30 is because 30 is the maximum uh, you can set. That's why. And hit apply. This will just create like a, a box around it. Now we can set the uh, the S divisions here to three. I, I know I, I we turned it off earlier. That is because I always change the divisions here, so I don't want to. I want to start with nothing. And now we can take the points here and then move them, and we can then adjust the lattice to shape uh, to the shape of the head. We can move parts of it like that. So let me just hide this one and show you what we can do here. So we're just placing it. I can move these points up like this. And to get to lattice points, you just right click, click lattice point, and then click object mode to get out. Now to finalize this, all we have to do is just uh, clear history on the object. So let me just fix this a little. Okay history I still have the other one let's make this live and then start adjusting all right so I'm gonna do a little uh, time lapse I know you guys hate time lapses but this is a little tedious there's a lot going on so please bear with it and uh, we'll pick up after I'm done Everything's placed. The issue here is that we have these gaps here. So the way we're going to fix that uh, is also pretty simple. All we need to do is use the sculpting tools within uh, Maya, and they're actually pretty good. So we just need to select the uh, geometry here. We're going to press three so I can see it better. I'm going to use this tool. This is the pool uh, vertex tool. It's it's really just like the grab tool. It's like the move tool in uh, ZBrush. So I'm going to double click it, and I'm going to reset and show you what it's going to look like. The problem is when you're working, the, always your brushes are really like large. So I like to just take the size of the brush, set it to zero, and the strength set it to zero. And you can just close the tool. And then hold B, and you can drag out. So holding B and left clicking, you can drag out the brush size like this. And then hold N uh, for Nancy, or I'm sorry, hold M for Mike, and then drag out the amount. So this is the uh, strength. Need a little more. here and here we can go and close up all of the gaps here and I'm just moving it in just grabbing it clicking it we can also work on the volume so you can see uh, the volume here is okay but we can make it better and so there's a, a ball up here there's a surface and volume so a surface and volume uh, means that it's like wherever if you click on the first one it's going to only select the first one but like sometimes you can also go over to the next object uh if you want to use if you set it to volume you can grab all of them together and here we can make the brush much bigger like that uh like this and we can use uh the brush here with volume to move all of the pieces together So when we're done, we need a little extra detail. So for that, uh, all we need to do is subdivide. So polygons and click smooth like this, clear history. Now, if I go back to the sculpting tools um, and use the, uh, the move tool again, under fall off, you can set this to surface. And what surface is really useful for is for moving individual pieces separately. So I can move this separate from this part 
this and I can tuck it in without affecting uh, the pieces se separately. So like, or affecting them together, I can affect them separately. It just makes it a little easier to work with for certain parts. So here I can just take this and because I have it set to surface, I'm not affecting any of the other hair strands. Okay, so I'm gonna do a little more work and come back after the next time lapse. And again, sorry about that. So I added a little bit of a, a shader to this just to see what it looks like and we can add the two strands here on top this little guy and this one and let's do those quick so I'm going to start with a cube again make this one longer we'll make two of these Oops, sorry uh, when you duplicate you lose all the history so let's subdivide One. Now you can also move the pivot when you're using soft select rotation. So if I move the pivot to the middle here, I can then rotate from the middle and I can bend this in like that. So we definitely can't make this little tiny wispy one, but we can make a, a nice uh, little uh, we can get close to that. So to get more out of this, we need to subdivide. So whenever you're um, moving objects like this, you want to make sure that there's no like penetration, especially when you're subdividing like a cube like this. So I want to make sure that when I'm rotating these, I don't create this kind of stuff. In order to make like an overhang, we just need to select these guys here and just move them over. And same thing, I just wanna make sure there's no The exact here, and it's going to be very difficult to do that but we can get as close as we can. And then we'll use some soft select. Hmm. 
way too long, so we gotta adjust that. Even though it looked okay from there, it doesn't look good in 3D. So we'll always adjust. And we can just combine them all. There's no reason to keep it separate. This one and this one could be subdivided one more time. And then combined. All right. Uh, let's make some eyebrows. So the eyebrows are just little shapes here like this. Here we go, so I have the front uh, image plane here that we can just turn on in front. We can select the object here, uh, make it live, and then we'll use uh, under modeling toolkit, we will use Quadra and make a square like the size of the uh, eyebrows. Hold control, we can add an edge loop in here, and then use the middle mouse button just to move these out and uh, follow the shape. One more here and here. You can turn off uh, live, press W just to get out of the quadra. And I want to add a loop inside. So I'm just going to use multi cut tool and just go like this and connect here. We're just creating a an inner bevel. That, select the head again, make it live, select the object, uh, click quadra again. You can now uh, hold, uh, turn, press B to turn on soft select, hold shift, and then just like click it. And what that will do is it will snap it to the head with all the extra geo that we just made. So there it is. And now we can just extrude, turn off live after uh, clicking extrude. I'm going to extrude once like this, extrude one more time, and then here I'm going to double click this uh, outer edge, hold control delete, it will delete it. And then these two edges here, uh, we're going to under edit mesh transform, just pull them out like that. And that creates like a little bubble shape, right? I'm gonna just move it in slightly into the head like that. So when you press three, be there. We'll assign the same material and then we can uh, freeze it. So modify, freeze, reset, duplicate, and then in the channel box, put a negative one there, combine them and combine with the head. There we go. Um, it's getting pretty long this uh, video, so uh, we'll do UVs for the hair in the next video and some extra detail. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.